Hi guys, welcome again uh, to iQuanta. Today we will learn about the multiplication fourth part where we basically learn the generic multiplication, like multiplication with anything. So like the generic multiplication techniques where you can exactly excel in doing it faster. So all of our classes is basically to make you help to learn calculation faster. And remember, this kind of skills are very important when you are taking any kind of competitive exam, whether it is a CAT, whether it is a CLAT, whether it is CSAT, any kind of exams, you are going to use this thing because this will help you to reduce your time. So let's begin. So 23 into 42, we are starting with this kind of numbers. Okay? So let's think about it. So let's, I'm writing it now clear and big. How to do this? Now understand the steps, very important, right? So first we will do 3 into 2. Okay, 3 into 2 is how much? 6. The next step is 2 into 2 plus 4 into 3. So 2 into 2 kitna hota hai? 4. 4 plus 4 into 3 is 12. So 12 plus 4 is 16. So 16 is there and 1 is carry forward. Next is 2 into 4. 2 into 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. So your answer is 966. Am I clear? So let me repeat the step again. First, this one. 3 into 2. Next, the cross multiplication. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 3, 12. So 4 plus 12. So it is 2 into 2 is 4. 4 into 3 is 12. Then I'm basically adding it. So 4 plus 12 is 16. So I have written 6 and 1 is carry forward. Next is the first two things, which is 2 into 4, that is 8. And the carry forward 1 adds it to it. So it becomes 9. So this is how easily you can do that also in one single step. So think about the another example, 78 into 35. So let's discuss. The first is 5 into 8. So 5 into 8 is 40. So this is 0. This is 4, right? Next is 5 into 7 is 35, 35 plus 3 into 8 is 24. So 35 plus 24 is nothing but 59. So 59 plus 4 is 63, that is 3. Then 6 is in carry forward. 7 into 3 is 21 and 6 is 27. So your answer is 2730. So first what we did, 8 into 5 is 40, 0, 4 carry forward. Next is 5 into 7 is 35. 35 plus 3 into 8 is 24. 35 plus 24 is nothing but 59. 59 plus 4 is 63. So 3 is here, 4 chala gaya. Then what is carry forward? 6. Now is 7 into 3 is 21 plus 6 is 27. So this step, this step and this step. That's how you can do any like two digit multiplication very fast. So let's now think about the multiplication of three digit numbers like this. So this is a big number you can see, 123 into 340, a bigger number, right? So in case of a bigger number, what we are going to do, now we will learn. So carefully watch, 123 into 342. Now think about it like this way. The first thing we are going to do is just understand the steps, 2 into 3, that is 6, right? Next step is this. This is the second step. That is 4 into 3 is 12 plus 2 into 2 is 4. So 12 plus 4 is 16, 6 and carry forward is 1. Clear? I'm taking it slow just to make you understand. What is the third step? I'm changing the color just to make you understand the third step as well. Third step is this one. This, this and this and you have to add all. So 2 into 1 is 2. 4, 2 into 1 is 2, basically I'm writing it. 4 into 2 is 8. 3 into 3 is 9. So it is 2, 8, 10 plus 9. So add it. 2 plus 8 plus 9. How much it is? 19. And 1 is there. So write 20. So 0 is here. So and what is the carry forward? 2. Next, between these two. Again, I'm using another color just to make you guys understand. So next is this 2. So in this case, 4 into 1 is 4 and 2 into 3 is 6. So what is 4 plus 6? That is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. So 12, again this gets cancelled out. So I have 1 here. Now the last step is 1 into 3, that is 3 plus. This is the last step, 3 into 1, that is 3 plus 1 is 4. So your answer is 4, 2, 0, double 6. So I'm just using the original color, which is 4, 2, 0, double 6. And hence this is the answer. So that's how you can do a three digit multiplication in a single step. So if you do it in a regular basis, then you can do it faster. And remember, practice is only thing which can make this thing happen faster, right? It's not about like something you just learned and you can do it very fast. So please remember and please practice it while doing it. So next I'm giving you another example. Let's say 342 into 551. I'm just taking it one another example and I'm making it how to do it faster now. 342. 451 right 
Now think about it. What is 1 into 2? Two? 2. First is 1 into 2 is 2. Second is 4 into 1 plus 5 into 2. So 4 plus 10 is 14. So 14, 4. What is the carry forward? The carry forward is 1. Next is 1 into 3 is 3. 4 into 2 is 8. So 3 and 8 is basically 11. Plus 4 into 5 is 20. 20 plus 11 is 31. Plus 1 is 32. So 2 is there. 3 is carry forward. Next is this 2. 5 into 3 is 15. And 4 into 4 is 16. So 15 plus 16 is 31. 31 plus 3 is 34. So 4 either. Again 3 carry forward. 3 into 4 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. So your answer is this one. 1, 5, 4, 2, 4, 2. So hence this is how you can do it very fast. I hope you are understanding how you can use this generic calculation also very faster and by doing in one step. Generally, we do it in three steps. So this will get a lot of benefit by just reducing your time taken to solve a question. So this is it about the multiplication. We'll see you guys in the next video, which might be a square.